Devin, you had an interesting road, different from other basketball players to play basketball, take some time, play football, and come back. Just what you can say about your experience doing both and, and what you're excited about this year. Uh, from the experience, I would just say it was, it was an awesome experience. Uh, I met a lot of different people over at football. I met a lot of different guys, made a lot of great connections that I still talk to a lot of guys today, like Isaiah and Bucky. Uh, but then coming back to basketball was, was uh, kind of liberating because I wanted to be with my guys, the guys that I've been there with for a really, really long time. So uh, being able to see my teammates and uh, my brothers was, was awesome for me as well. Devin, Buzz, basketball always seems like that you guys are in it to the end, well prepared don't seem to panic in those waiting stages of a game. What is it about practice that prepares you guys to stay cool under pressure? Uh, I wouldn't say so much that it's practice, but we do a lot of things that uh, most people know. We call it boot camp, and uh, in that boot camp, in those sessions, we do a lot of things that prepare you for, for game-like moments where you're going to be frazzled or where you should be confused about what's going on. So uh, we get a lot of pre-practice before we even get to practice of how to deal with those situations. So when we get into games, it's kind of second nature and no one's really worried about it because we've done it so many times before. Let's go back to Dan in the front row to the left. Devin, what is it about Buzz Williams that you've taken away at this point? What are some of those, what are the key ingredients, so to speak, to his success from your point of view? Uh, I think that he demands the most of the players that he has. Uh, he's he's going to get you to, to push you to your limits, and he's going to want you to push yourself to your limits as well. So he's a great motivator, a great coach, a great life coach as well. He teaches us about things beyond the court that uh, I think a lot of coaches kind of miss out on. And he, he can care, I shouldn't say care less about basketball, but he's, he's not worried about it. He wants to see what you're going to be able to do after the ball stops bouncing. So. Uh, a lot of people respect that, and I think that's why people play so hard for him, because they know that he wants us to do better than the average basketball player.